my name is Kevin. Today we're going to make a solar ladybug. You will need a, a cardboard ladybug shaped and colored like this with some googly eyes with, with also two holes that add this area. Um, four four paper clips shaped like a X, shaped like a V so into loosen tape a um a sacred machine two straws this this size or maybe a bit bigger or smaller and last but not least solar panel first let's make the legs so to make the V say shape of the paper clip, take your paper clip, push this, push the small part, and then bend it like this. Now get your straw, get your one of your straws, and stick the small end of the paper clip like this. After that, repeat the same thing with the other side. Repeat the same thing with the other straw also. Okay, legs done. Turn, turn the ladybug upside down. Put you see these two lines? This is the place to where we're gonna put the legs. Um, get your tape. Get tape. Fix it like this. Now turn it over and suck if it stands up. Yes, it does for us. Now get your solar panel. There's there. Then put it in here to put the wires to the hole that I said first. Now our ladybug is ready. If you put this in more sunlight in a place to where there's more sunlight, then it will work. So this easily happens since the solar panel, when sunlight hits the solar panel, it, the solar panel turns that sunlight into an electricity, which helps the shaker, shaker machine shake the ladybug. You can also see it kind of move. So this happens because sunlight hits on the solar panel, and inside the solar panel, the sunlight, which has photons, turn into electrons which is either positive or negative then those electrons go through the wire go through the wires and then end up in the shaking machine the shaking machine shake, vibrates on the ladybug giving you that buzzing sound and if you're lucky enough it, it will shake this is the same thing that happens to our houses, except that there will be a conduct, that there will be a generator to change that into all the use electricity for everything you need, like washers, dishwashers, um, refrigerators, stoves, lights, etc. Also, because of this. You could save large amounts of electricity and lower the electricity bill. Another thing, this could even work on cloudy days because the sunlight's still there. It's just that there's not enough sunlight. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel, Smart Science Kid. Bye for now. See you soon.